Trimethylglycine supplements, also known as betaine, has got good human evidence for not only improved muscle performance, but it may also help reduce dementia rates. Let's have a deep dive into the research. TMG is found in foods such as beets, spinach, and whole grain breads, and the average daily intake is between 100 to 300 milligrams. So what happens when we use supplements? Let's start with muscle performance. There are several proposed mechanisms for how TMG can improve muscle and athletic performance. For example, it may increase creatine levels. It can help accelerate the recycling of ATP, which is the energy source for our cells. This can improve performance by delaying fatigue in high intensity activities. TMG also helps to regulate the cell's water content and hydration. Finally, it may enhance muscle protein synthesis. That's all great in theory, but what do the human clinical studies show? Well, in 2017, a systematic review was done that identified seven excellent quality trials. However, only two out of the seven trials reported increases in strength or power after using TMG supplements. The remaining five trials showed no benefit. So here's the crucial point. When the studies combined TMG supplements with high intensity exercise, that's when we could see the benefits. So it's likely that TMG works best in this type of training environment that poses high metabolic demands. Just taking TMG and then sitting on the sofa is not going to generate results. We need to combine it with exercise, specifically resistance and power training. For example, in a 2021 randomized double-blind placebo-controlled study of professional soccer players during a season, the trial found that TMG supplements improved one rep max, VO2 max, and sprinting performance. Compare that to trials that just rely on TMG supplements alone without any exercise, and we see no benefits. But it's not just for muscle performance reasons for why I take TMG. A 2020 systematic review concluded that high levels of blood homocysteine is a strong predictive factor of developing dementia, and lowering homocysteine is an incredibly promising strategy to prevent Alzheimer's disease. And that's where TMG comes in. So TMG is trimethylglycine, meaning that it's got three methyl groups. It can donate those methyl groups to help convert homocysteine into methionine. And in the human clinical studies, we can see that TMG lowers homocysteine levels. But while the strategy is very exciting, it's not a done deal. In 2014, a meta analysis that combined 11 large trials, including over 22,000 participants, found that lowering homocysteine by using B vitamins had no significant effect on cognition. Since those disappointing results in 2014, our understanding has evolved. It's possible that at the same time that we're lowering homocysteine, we also need to add in a few other supplements. For example, this large randomized controlled study on multivitamins involving over 2,000 participants showed that multivitamins relative to placebo resulted in a statistically significant benefit on global cognition. So alongside TMG supplements, we absolutely need to make sure that we're having a great diet that meets the recommended daily intakes for all of our vitamins and minerals. We may also see an even greater effect if we add in omega-3 supplements. Regarding the dose for TMG, most exercise performance studies use a dose between 2 and 5 grams a day. Personally, I use a lower dose of 1 gram a day, and this is because even though we've got encouraging safety data showing no side effects after several weeks of supplementation, we don't have published research on the long-term effects. In summary, there's good evidence that TMG supplements improve muscle performance when combined with exercise, and through its homocysteine lowering effects, TMG may help to reduce dementia rates. Finally, the initial safety data is very reassuring, and if you do want to check out another supplement that I personally take, make sure to check out this next video here on vitamin K2. A massive thank you to donotage.org for their $10,000 donation to my rapamycin study. They are a health research organization, and to benefit from their ingredients as well as a 10% discount code, check out the pinned comment.